Ghost Rider 2, short movie review, Spirit of Vengeance. 3D, although the film really doesn't utilize it much at all, so if that ticket actually costs more than the 2D showing, I'd go for the 2D showing. If I'd advise you to go to this movie at all. Anyway, Ghost Rider is defending a boy who the devil himself, or itself, is out to get. And the devil has hired a gun-running, drug-smuggling, insert other stereotypical Hollywood bad guy cliches, you know, to retrieve him. And he, of course, brings plenty of, you know, men with guns and fodder for the rider, who is still nearly invincible, and takes people out, takes his enemies out with ease. This time he can turn them into ash just by touching them, unless, of course, they have to survive until later on in the movie. However, there is a bit more opposition for him this time around, but it actually makes relatively little difference in the end. The film doesn't actually excite as much as you might think from it, for example, from it being a Neville Dean Taylor production. It does have some badass stuff. The rider is definitely cooler this time around, but a lot of the problems remain. There are fewer one-liners, but they're about as bad as they were in the first one. The action is sparse, not that compelling, and at times rather homoerotic. The music isn't bad, but it can be pretty poorly chosen. And, yeah, it's really not that memorable of a film. The villains aren't the least bit memorable either, and dialogue's pretty bad. Acting is really unimpressive. The plot is nearly non-existent. Yeah, not much to recommend about this one. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.